Productions. Um, this tutorial is how to use hype inside of WordPress. Okay, so as you see here, this is our um, hype animation. I'll go ahead and preview for it now. Simple animation, uh, nothing too fancy. Um, here you see it live, uh, and it's working. Okay, so um, first step you want to do is um, you want to go to hype, and you want to go to file, export to HTML5 to a folder. Um, here's where I'm going to have this folder saved, and of course you want to save it um, with an HTML file, and you want to create an inclusion folder. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click Save, and that's done. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is um, you either want to go to your hosting site that holds all your files for your website, or you can use an FTP, FTP client. Um, the client that I'm going to be using is uh, FileZilla, which is here. Um, and this is where we're going to upload it. Okay, so let's connect to our host. And here for um, for WordPress, where you want to go and upload your folders is um, you want to go down here to where it says w WP Content. Okay, so we're going to open that up. And here um, you want to create a folder for your hype files. Um, you can see here that I've already created one, but for this tutorial, I'm, I'm going to create one from scratch for you guys. Okay, uh, so for FileZilla, what you want to do is on the empty space um, on the right hand side, this is where your host um, server is. Um, you want to right click and you want to create a directory. Okay, and um, here is the, the tag for the directory that you're going to be typing. So instead of in directory, we'll just type in hype uh, dash demo. Okay, for this demonstration purpose. Click OK. And there you see our file here. Okay, so we're going to double click this folder. And this is where you want to um, let me open up the, the finder window for you. Um, this is where you want to copy this architectural um, products folder that we made with hype. Okay, because within this folder is our HTML and then our resources folder. Okay. So we'll just take this folder. And we'll drag it right inside of um, FileZilla. You can see it copies over everything pretty quickly, mind you. And there it is. We have our um, architectural HTML um, file, and then we have our product resources. Okay. So that part is finished. Next, we want to jump over to our um, WordPress site. Okay. And here's the site, and uh, what I want to do is I want to upload that animation um, into our um, products page, okay? So we go to products and architectural products. This is where I want the animation. And as you can see, I didn't load it up because I want to do everything from scratch for you guys, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go into our back end, which is here, and here is our designated um, space for that page that we created, okay? Um, for what we want to do for this is under the HTML tab because we're dealing with code. This is where we want to copy the HTML code. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's head over back to uh, to hype. Okay. And let's go ahead and preview that once again. And we'll go to view, and then view source. Okay. And here's the line of code that we want for that animation to, to add to our to our WordPress site. So we'll just right click. Copy, and we'll close the source since we no longer need it, and then we'll go back to our, our site, okay? So within the HTML tab here, you want to um, right-click and paste the code, okay? And now what we need to do is we need to tell this code where we need to get the animation from, okay? Because if you were to upload this now, here, I'll just show you. We'll upload and we'll go back to our page and we'll just do a, a refresh you see nothing's going on here you see the page has changed its width 
or its height um, for that file, but you see the animation is not showing. Reason being is because we have not yet told this code exactly where the source is. Okay, it knows that it has a resource folder um, attached to it, but it needs to know where all the, everything else is. So what we need to do is um, back in FileZilla, um, there's a directory path that we need to follow. Okay, so what that path is is we know that it's under the WB content. We know it's under the hype demo. And then we know it's in the art products folder. Okay, so let's head over back to the code. So the source um, for WordPress um, usually, if it's work for me, it might be different for you. Um, it knows that the source you're pulling from usually is um, on your on your host server. So it knows that we don't really necessarily have to type in the HTTP www dot. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to type in um, wp dash content slash um, the folder was hype dash demo slash arc products slash and then you see here there is the rest of the the file path that's already there for you. Okay, so once we hit update. And we'll go back to the page and we refresh. You see the code is, is, is up and running and it's it's up and running and it's perfect. Um, it's on there, you can view it, you can mess around with it, all well and done. But um, there's a side note. Um, WordPress, their editor isn't really um, HTML5 friendly just yet. Um, the reason being that I say that is if I were to go to, say, Visual, and I had other content here that I wanted to edit, and then I go back to HTML, you see that the code has uh, disappeared on you, okay? Um, the reason why that's a problem is if you don't have that in the back of your head, and you go to Visual, and you make a change, and you update it, and then you hit Update, and then you go back to your page, um, once you refresh it to see the updated content that you added, you see that the HTML5 code has disappeared. Um, and that can be problematic for you. Um, what I've done is um, I've done a little research on um, things that you could kind of do to help prevent that, which for right now, there's not really any that I found that was helpful. So what I did was, um, if you notice to the right, um, there's a little section here that says add note, which is pretty useful. Um, here, I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> I'll add a new tab here and I'll go to um, a site that I found called Peter's Post Notes. Uh, what this enables you to do is to write um, personal notes that you will only see on the back end of your site. So any notes that you make um, you won't see on the force on the um, foreground side of your site like visitors and all that stuff they won't be able to see these notes. So what I decided to do was um, we'll go here and we'll paste in that code. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and um, we'll put in that directory path one more time, which is wp dash content slash hype dash demo slash arc dash products slash and then the rest of it. Um, what I would do is I would copy that code from hype. Okay, so highlight, which is command A, right click, copy. And for the note, um, for soap note, I'll just put um, hype code used and then um, colon and space and then I'll paste in that code. Okay. Once I hit update, that code you will see um, show up at the top of um, your published settings, which is nice because um, say you go back to your site and you see right now if I refresh, um, that code will will show up here. Okay, so obviously um, I did something wrong, so let's go back and look at this code. Oh, <laughs> no one problem guys, sorry about that. This is under visual, it needs to be under HTML, so we'll just copy this code, delete it, go to HTML, and paste it there, and update. Now that if we refresh it, you'll see the code shows up perfectly fine. <laughs> Alright, so What's nice about that is if you go to visual and you go back to HTML, you see the code disappears. 
So what's nice is you can actually take this code in your notes and copy it and paste it and update it. You see the code is back where it belongs. So that is a quick tutorial on how to use Hype inside of WordPress. If you have any questions, leave comments, and I'll do my best to help you out, guys. Thanks.